What's going on guys? My name is Ryan. My beautiful wife, Lindsay and I, we go by Rinzi. We are full-time shoe resellers. We sell both new and used shoes. We've been doing it for about four, a little over four years now. And we share everything that we have learned as we continue to learn more here on our YouTube channel. So welcome. Today, we want to talk about this idea of perceived value versus actual value. Let's dive in. So we were re recently listening to a uh, podcast on YouTube and it was talking about this very subject, this idea of perceived value versus actual value. And when you relate it to shoes, there's this idea when you're first starting out as a shoe reseller and it happened with us and we, we talked to people every single day in the DMs on Instagram, this idea that you could just randomly go into the thrift that's five minutes down the road and just pick out some shoes that you think uh, might possibly be profitable and bring them home and take a few pictures. And then all of a sudden, if you do that a couple times, you're going to make tens of thousands of dollars every single month. That's the perceived value, right? Perceived value gets you to act. Actual value gets you to repeat. So that perceived value, which I just explained, gets you to actually go to the store and act. All of us that are listening to this right now, and especially if you're any level of a shoe reseller, understand that after that first trip, when you come home, it's not how it works. It's not how it works. That perceived value that you can just randomly go and so you might get a sale or two, but you're inevitably going to run into having inventory that is not selling. Now let's back all the way up. What we have learned over the last four years, and we learned very, very quickly when we first started back in June of 2017, is that what makes more sense, what brings the actual value is when you go into that local thrift, you actually take out your phone and you look up the sales of the, each and every single shoe on the marketplace that you plan to sell it on. You then look at how much it's selling for and compare that to the buy cost that they're in the thrift and then you make a decision, a more thought out research based decision. Now, when you do that, you actually bring in actual value. You're actually gonna sell through those shoes you leave the ones in the thrift that are damaged. You leave the ones in the thrift that are not profitable based on that research. And you only bring home the ones that are profitable on the marketplace that you're using. Today, we're talking about perceived value versus actual value. The perceived value gets you to take that first act. And then you get kind of discouraged because you're like, why isn't this working? And then the actual value, the time put into the research, the time put into looking on each and every single marketplace, because we know that each marketplace has a different value for every single pair. The actual value comes from, holy smokes, you only bring home profitable inventory, you list them, they sell, money starts coming in, and now you can scale that as small or as big as you possibly want. Wanted to put this out there to you guys today, just quick little videos. We're gonna start doing more of this on YouTube so you can get kind of into our headspace. And again, the whole goal here is to leapfrog our mistakes and get closer to consistent wins. Learn from people around you. It's how we learned. It's how we were introduced into the reselling community. We asked a bunch asked a bunch of questions and we continue to do so. We reach out to resellers that are at a level that we want to get up to and we say, hey, how did you do this? How did you do that? We watch a bunch of videos here on YouTube. We do a bunch of research on Reddit. We do a bunch of research on Google. We're always doing these things and we wanna to continue to contribute back into the community that has given so much to us. Again, the recap today, perceived value is great, but then actual value, actual profit, actual being honest with yourself is what leads to consistency. Ask yourself that question. Am I evaluating things based on some perceived uh, perceived conception of what the market is? Or am I doing the research and saying, you know what, I'm gonna make uh, researched decisions so that I can move past that perception and get to the actual profit, the actual value that will provide me consistency. Hope this helps you as much as it's helped us. So much of this is about mindset that leads to proper execution and really understanding the difference between perceived value and actual value has been a game changer for us. As always, guys, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us in the comments below. You can shoot us a message over on Instagram under Rinzy now, R-N-Z-Y now. No matter where you are in your adventure, we hope you're enjoying each and every single step. We'll talk to you guys soon.